As the son of a professional footballer, you are always expected to be just as good as your father when you grow up. My time has come. He started his career at Mainz in Germany, then moved over to Turkey. He started to play for the Turkish national team even though the Germans wanted him. And that was a dream that he could never fulfill. I will now take it on myself to fulfill his dreams. As I cannot go back in time, the only thing I can offer is this. I can take this task upon myself, try to fill the footsteps that my father has taken, and this is the start of it all. You thought that was it? Like, come on, just the storyline, is that what you expect from me? Let's make this special. You might be asking, why is this called the Real Life My Player series? Well, this is the training on FIFA 16, you want me to pass? I'll do it in real life! You want me to dribble around sticks and then take a shot to show how good I am at dribbling? Of course I can do that on the training pitch as well! So this means this series will be the most innovative and most original series I will ever have posted on my channel. The training drills will be done in real life and they will be displaying themselves onto the game itself. I really hope you guys will appreciate the work I put into this because it's a ton of work but it is worth it. This is the start of my journey and I hope you guys will join me. Hey hey assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me Johnny Sports and welcome to the first episode of the real life my player series. I hope you guys really enjoyed that intro and if you guys are excited for this new series please go ahead and smash that like. I would really really appreciate that. Let's see how many we can get but this is Johnny. I'm starting my career at the same club my father started in. I'm a 67 rated center attacking midfielder. My father throughout his career was at the start a striker then he moved on to be a center midfielder so I decided to to stick to the middle of that and be a center attacking midfielder. These are my objectives, an average rating of 6.0, I have to maintain a pass completion rate of 65% or better, create 5 goals uh, and then I have to create 30 scoring chances. But more than that, let's move on to the training. In every single training drill, I will be able to get anything ranging from an A to an F. If I hit 3 passes, I will get an A. If I hit none, I will get an F. And between that, there is B and C for hitting 2 or 1. We started off by hitting the first. That was just perfect. You guys couldn't see it because I stand in front of it, but that went through. The second one didn't, and the third one did go through. So that's a B for me because I did hit 2 of the targets. So that means I get a B. Let's move on to the second drill of the day, which is the dribbling drill. And in this one, first of all, if one of these sticks drop, I will get a downgrade. But you can see where I have to hit in order to get an A or a B or a C. So that is simple. But if I do drop one of these sticks, I will have to get a downgrade. So if I do get a C like I did right here and drop the stick, I will get a D. But luckily, I did get a C in that one. So far, after two training drills, we have gotten a B and a C, so an A is yet to come. Let's move forward to the third drill of today, which is the sharp shooting drill. Outside of the penalty area, the ball has to stand still and I will take shots. You can see I will have to hit above the small goals in order to get an A. So the top corner is an A, the bottom corner is a B and the middle is a C. In that one, we did get an A and that is the first one of this week. Moving on to the fourth drill which is the last one that we will do in the real life training. It is the one where I have to do at least three key puppies and then smash it into one of these corners. It is obviously a lot tougher than just going ahead and uh, doing just a simple shot standing. But the first one came out perfectly, so I will get an A. And by the way, guys, if you do not trust me with these training drills, I will always show you in the next episode when I start the training drills, I will show you what I did in the last week. So there will be no cut in between that and you will see that these are consecutive training drills. So I'm not cheating on anything. The fifth drill was a tough one. It was an assisted free kick and I thought just taking another shot would be too much. And the assisted free kick will be the one that I will play in the game. And then uh, you will see the rating I will get. So four out of those training drills will be done by myself in real life and then the rest will be done on the game itself. 
Now after I have nearly explained everything, there's still something to come after this, after the first game of this episode, but we have to go ahead and play against PSV Eindhoven in the preseason tournament. We are in July and we have three matches in the group stages against PSV, uh, Bursa Sport and then Genoa or Genoa, however you want to call it, but uh, we are starting off our first match. I was in the starting lineup, I was ready for this. Normally, I wouldn't be in this starting lineup, but I am now the 67 rated center attacking midfielder who has now joined Mainz 05 to start his career and maybe follow through what his father has done or maybe exceed it. This match started off with Mainz on the attack. Uh, it is a pass over to me. I do get into the penalty area, but I'm still too nervous. I still don't know where to run, what to do, and hopefully throughout time, I will be able to get everything done and become a legend for Mainz but there's another pass that could have landed at my feet but the defense was just taking care of me all the time now I lost the ball I'm giving away a chance for our opponents and this obviously wasn't the best start you can still feel that I was nervous I really didn't know what to do it was my first time playing for a professional team like this but I still tried my best I passed it over and in my first match I already had 10 short passes within the 40 minutes so I got an achievement done right there now PSV Eindhoven with another attack but luckily they did not hit the target with Narsing. Now, they are once again on the ball with Narsing who crosses it in. It is a great cross for De Jong, but uh, luckily again, Mainz able to hold on to the scoreline. Now, a great pass from me to the right hand side. I'm running inside, asking for the ball again, but losing it, but then getting it back again. I'm still trying my best to move my team forward, crossing it in. It's my first cross. And it was also my first dangerous and well-placed cross which landed on the head of my teammate but he's just not able to get it in. So in the 83rd minute PSV Eindhoven came in with a chance of theirs but now in the 90th minute it's done. So my first match was not the best. I didn't get an assist. I didn't get a goal in. I would have loved to get an assist with that cross I made but throughout the whole match I just only got a 6.0 rating and that is just average. But no worries, we will work hard and especially in training we will do that. Now let me explain how the training continues in the episode. At the start of the episode I've done the real life training, I've gotten a B, a C and 3 A's. Since doing the real life training every single week in game would be too repetitive and too much work I've decided to come up with a system. At the start I've gotten 3 A's, 1 B and 1 C. That means I'm now allowed to train my player in 3 hard trainings, 1 medium training and 1 easy training. And you can see that in the background I will now go ahead and simulate these and that just shows you that the training that I'm doing at the start is not only affecting the first week it does also affect the rest of the episode but getting three A's doesn't mean I have to do three hard training so I decided to put one medium in there instead of doing one more hard training and that is the headers and volleys because you can't combine sharpshooting assisted free kicks and then another hard training on shooting uh, with this system that there is in FIFA 16 so I have to go ahead and use the medium one uh, for the hard training that I actually earned but that's not a problem we can move on into the next match of this episode it is going to be against Bursaspor which in my opinion was a really important game for myself because my father back in the day actually signed a contract with Bursaspor but then he got an offer from Fenerbahce he signed the contract with Fenerbahce but before that he had signed one with Bursaspor so that back in the day was a big scandal and he just did the right thing. He wanted to sign for Fenerbahce, which is now my favorite team. But it came out as a scandal and everyone was talking about it back in the day. And he still remained at Genstad Birli because he just couldn't move to another team. In that match, I had to stop myself off because my stamina was so low. And I had to go off instead of getting an injury and just continuing and trying hard in that one. Instead of that, I decided to go out and move on into the next match with more stamina then my manager came in and said your future at Mainz is going to be this 
He wants me to be loaned out and I do understand why, but that is not my plan manager. I will show you that I will be a part of this team, a very important part of this team in this season already. So let's get this one started against Genoa. A pass from me over to the right hand side. I'm making my run inside, asking for the ball, getting it. Big shot to get past one defender and then the weak foot shot to try and score my first goal of this series against Genoa and that is my first goal to tell my coach, buddy, I am here to stay. And what a goal that was for me. I fake shot it, got a plus one because of that. And then I smashed it in with my weak foot. And taking shots with your weak foot, normally being a low rated player like this is really tough. But after that goal, I was flying. I knew what to do just instantly. I was passing it around to my teammates and they were getting into attacks. Really, really good attacks. And we were trying our best to get one more goal in but this this match would be very important for my club because getting into the next round gets us a bit of money and there's a great pass from me with my weak foot again to my teammate who crosses it in and the header is just not hitting the target 71st minute once again asking for the ball getting into the penalty area passing it to my teammate by star then passing it over to moritz and then i requested a pass and that was not the right thing to do in that position and uh, straight after that i got subbed off i wasn't expecting it so i pressed a to skip the substitutions but my coach wanted me to go out but still i was the man of the match you can see in the top right corner penalties plus one attack positioning plus one and vision plus one a man of the match in my third match for Mainz and that is a great accomplishment for a 67 rated center attacking midfielder who the coach wants to send out on loan. I'm now getting a message from the board saying that uh, they are confident about my abilities in the tournament but sadly my team somehow didn't make it through to the next round because we somehow maybe lost against Genoa in the end I didn't see what happened in the end and I forgot to check it out but we are simming the training once again and I'm getting closer to that 68 rating going up by one overall rating would be great in the first episode but you can see right here after my coach has put me onto the loan list this is what happened I'm getting many many loan offers from teams that I don't want to go to the only thing I could have accepted was going to a second Bundesliga side or maybe going over to Turkey but sadly the only offers I was getting was from League One teams but let's not talk about sad things you can see right here i've moved up to a 68 rating now after the real life training that we have done we have deserved to go ahead and simulate these ones and we have gone up to a 68 rating already in the first episode and that's only because we have done quite well in the training moving on we are still getting other offers from teams like these the barnet wants me in their team so i just said no that is not going to be happening and we are moving on into another week since we are in the transfer window there will be a lot of weeks where we are just not playing any games just because of the reason that we did not make it through the next round of the preseason tournament but i'm just declining offers left and right i'm stating to my coach i want to stay in this team i want to be a part of this team and i want to be a very important part of this team and that is my dream i want to become a really good player for mines and moving on and showing my talent in the bundesliga so just because of that reason i am rejecting loan offers but what do you guys think do you think i'm doing the right thing because i in my opinion am doing the right thing i will show you my competitors for the center attack in midfield position i'm 68 rated right now yunus mali is my biggest opponent for that position he has scored a hat trick last week and he is now 75 rated 23 years old so he still has some potential in him he might grow but other than that there is basically no one to compete for that position if yunus mali gets in injured i'm the only guy 
to take in that position and try to represent the team as good as possible so let me know in the comments down below what you think of the concept of this series did you guys enjoy it do you guys look forward to the next episode i hope you guys have smashed that like button for probably the most original my player series out there Thank you all so much for watching Assistant Coaches. Subscribe if you're new and join in into the journey of Jani at Mainz.